seminar before in the old place, and even Josh was there. And uh, a couple hours ago, Josh looked at me and said, Professor, I remember like some details you showed me, I still use it. You know, so Nima has a really, really good knowledge in Jiu-Jitsu. He studied art, you know, and he knows what he's doing. He's a master, okay? So enjoy the time, he's gonna be sharing a little bit, like we're gonna be training uh, his class, you know, he's gonna be the instructor tonight, okay? And for us, it's, it's a great honor to have someone like Damien Mai. Hey, clap it up for them again. Hey guys, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Andre. Like Andre said, you know, I met him as a kid still back then. I, I was watching this championship and I was remember I, I remember I was with some guy by my side from Ryan Grace Academy, Fabio Poldo, who is now Fabio. teaching in California. Mm -hmm. And Fabio said, man, this guy is really good. He was beating everybody and he was like featherweight yeah. and winning the absolute division. And and Fabio told me, I'm gonna bring this guy to train with us at the Grace Academy, or at Ryan Grace Academy. I said, no, 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 I'm gonna bring to train with us. And we start to play with each other. But then it starts to get serious, you know? I said, man, I think I'm really gonna talk to this guy because Fabio is going first. <laughs> and then when Fabio get this track, I came to Andre, you know, between the magic and said, Andre, look, come to train with us. Uh, I think, you know, you have a bright future. And he said, there was just the right time to talk to him because Careca, his, his teacher to Purple Belt, yeah. told him, you know, to go to Sao Paulo to achieve higher, uh, higher achievements. And so I spoke to him and he said, okay, I go. And I remember I went to, to Finland or to Sweden to give a seminar. And when I came back, he was a red, kind of adopted by Fernando Terere, you know. And after I was living there and teaching all day. And so I pretty much see him growing up in the sport and winning everything. And, and you know, from the time that was kind of easy to train with him when he came and then it was becoming harder and harder and harder and suddenly kind of impossible, you know, to, to do well with him. So I'm very proud to see what he achieved and he invited me to go here. I was going to be in San Diego for some sponsor uh, things that I need to do and Andre invited me to come here and teach. So, you know, it's a great pleasure and yeah, that's it. So. I hope you guys enjoy, okay? Uh, today is holiday, right, Andre? So, yeah, we're gonna start, do some techniques and stuff and some, some drilling, and then in the end, I'm gonna let you guys more free to roll, okay? But right now, I'm gonna do pretty much what I do for my training, uh, my nogi training, which is, first we're gonna do a lot of drill to get warming up, a little bit different and before we start to roll, okay? So, so it's just, look, just easy, easy, you can change sometimes, yeah. Ooh. Just feeling your opponent, okay? Just very easy, just to start warm up your lower back, your legs, your shoulders, pull, push, okay? Very easy, sometimes you can break the grip, sometimes you change the grips, okay? Just this, easy, go. One, two, three. A little bit more, use a little bit of more movement. Doesn't need to be tough. I don't want you with stiffs, but I want you guys like, no break, no back. And then I, I want you guys one each. Gonna move, move, and boom. Go to the takedown. Doesn't need to be any specific takedown. Like this. Good. Okay, so shoot two, just the entrance, not the takedown each. So I move on there, so I'm gracious. As a, 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 a dummy, I move. Move, here, yeah, move. Move. And move. Okay, two times, and then you will do. Two times, okay? So move with the guys, let him do. Don't stay stiff. Be a good partner, okay? To your, and now, right now, even if you shoot to the legs, don't put the knees on the ground. I want to... Going, we're gonna grow the warming up. 
So don't, if you go to the night, just, just this, okay? And if you go to coach and this kind of things, always stand up. I don't want you guys, you can do like this, but not here, okay? Go. One, two, three. the guy who is helping. I'm just gonna get a good training if I have a good partner, especially this kind of training. And no rush. You can move the guy for 10, 20 seconds before you find the opening. Right, we, when we are in a championship, if you're here, or our train, it's hard to find a gap. If I go straight to his leg, he's just gonna hurt. So I need to move him, okay? Sometimes you play, boom, play here, boom, boom. Okay? So move, move the guy. It's more about finding the right time to do the entrance than just to exercise the entrance. Okay? One, two, three. Change, okay? 
I need to choke, I need to go to the arm, even if I lose the position. It's like I'm losing for many points. I go, get the points and I'm gonna go to the choke or, or arm or, or leg, okay? But right now we're not gonna start stand up because there's too many people. So we're gonna start right now. I'm gonna have the hook guard, the butterfly guard. I'm gonna grab Andre's arm and you're gonna do an arm drag here. I, some people do like that. I prefer to push the bottom hand and pull the upper hand. Some people like to pull both. Okay, it doesn't matter how you wanna do it. You wanna start here, really tight, or here, and go. You're gonna have the same thing around 30 seconds from here to fight, non-stop. Even if the fight comes back to stand up, you're gonna keep fighting stand up. It's like it's Jiu Jitsu, there's no stand up or ground. Okay, there's just one thing. So if you fight, and let's see, I fight with my friend, it's like, look, and stand up. Look, I still fight here. Just be, be careful because there's too many people. But it's pretty much like 30 seconds of fighting. Okay, so my goal is to submit me. And if I start to get good positions, like maximum like three, four seconds, okay, just to get the points and move. Okay, so we're gonna be intense. 30 seconds, we're gonna rest around 10 seconds and then the other guy goes to the bottom. And then we switch partners. And then we do again and again and again. Okay? We're gonna do three rounds of this. Okay? Especially if I'm tired in the middle of the scramble. 
from here, and let's say he stayed here. No, no, he's sitting sort of right here. Okay? He's, he's not standing up anymore. I'm just gonna push, put my knee on the ground, my elbow on the ground, and I'm just gonna push him and go to the front. Very simple. He doesn't stand up. Just stay there and keep me on the ground. I don't care the finish of the movement because he can go X car. You can go other kind of sweeps, you can go to the back, there's so many secrets. But I want to give the details and how I get this position. How I get this position. I want you guys to do, it's important to understand, in two parts. One, one is like this, one, okay? Two, sorry, three, three two, and then three, okay? That's good for me. Don't go right away like this. One and that here. It's no problem to do that, but I want you guys to get this step by step technique. Okay? You take one, one, two, then you can you can get here and go, but first the most important is you get this leg. Okay, you don't want to use your hand. One. First use one. Close the knees. Okay? And then you can once you get here, it's very hard for me to do There's so many situations that I can do from here. But the base point is this elbow on the ground. Well, just don't jump inside the triangle, okay? Keep going here. Or you pull back. Okay? One, two, three. together and you know to be part of that makes me really proud and see what Andre built and a couple years ago I was in the world for you know after many years and when I saw you know I was looking you guys winning the awards I saw man I can't believe this guy you know he comes here he fights he wins he's ace his champion and his team wins the world that's so hard to achieve you know, because for me, I'm right now, I'm much more a fighter, I'm not teaching. I teach him once in a while in my academy. And I'm, I'm a right think that I'm doing a lot of things. You know, I give him seminars, you know, I'm, I'm taking care of the professors of my academy. I'm fighting the UFC, I'm having sponsors, uh, things to do, TV, things that I do in Brazil. But to do what Andre does is, is unbelievable. You know, his work ethic is something that I, it's very hard to see, it's very hard to find. And I knew, you know, since he was purple belt, he had his work acting. But to see what he's achieved, it's always a great pleasure for me. So every time, you know, I'm here for sure, I want to come here to see and grab you guys. And you guys are very lucky that you have this coach and this teacher Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
feel for everything. But, um, yeah, like when they start talking, they start, you know, uh, having a uh, movement in my mind. aspect but also life aspect you know somebody can help you or something can happen some door can get open here you know so take advantage of that okay um then the, i saw you like from the beginning as well like when you get married as well and everything so it was amazing to see it, it is amazing to see him like growing and then i asked him today like that tonight today when are you going to stop you know <laughs> Uh, he doesn't, it seems like he doesn't stop, right? He's just getting better and better and better. And then he's saying, oh, I feel much better now than seven years ago. And I say, wow, geez, this guy really loves what he does. And and actually, like, I know that he feels that. He can say that. I know he feels that way. Okay? And there's one thing that Dinda has that a lot of fighters, they don't have is the experience. Right? That, that, that comes only with time, by time. So all that he shows you guys tonight was his experience, you know, like the things that he's learning, he's training, right? So, again, 
thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Uh, I'm very blessed to have you as a friend. Okay. Um, Debbie is a person with such an amazing, big heart. Not only as a fighter.